Assembly next. It was June 1940. Dunkirk had just been evacuated. The Battle of Britain was about to begin. But West Ham had business in that famous old stadium against Blackburn Rovers in a wartime replacement of the FA Cup. The kickoff is at half past six. West Ham are expected to win and they hardly disappoint their fans. Right from the start, they seem to have that little extra brilliance which puts them just on top of the hard-working, energetic Blackburn Rovers. But right from the start, it's a grand game. Time and again, West Ham attack with short passes down the centre. Time and again, they look like scoring, only to be frustrated by superb work by Barron in the Blackburn goal. But always there's the threat of one of those West Ham drives breaking through. And after 35 minutes, one does to put West Ham one up. And that's how it stays until half-time, with West Ham leading by one goal to none. In the second half, Blackburn get in some superb spells of attacking, and once or twice they come very near to getting an equalising goal. But West Ham hold their advantage, and the first cup final of this war comes to the usual roaring end, with Mr Alexander presenting the cup to West Ham United. Sammy Small scored the goal that brought much-needed celebration to a...